Hi guys. In this session, we have lecture three, module lecture three of module three, quantum mechanics. Uh, in this section, uh, we are discussing about the fundamental expression of quantum mechanics, which is Schrodinger wave equation. So far, we have made a lot of progresses concerning the properties and interpretations of the wave function. But as yet we have had very little to say about how the wave functions may be derived in a, in a general situation. That is to say, we don't have we don't have a hand a wave equation for a wave function. So here we will offer a simple derivation based on what we have learned so far about the wave function. We have Schrodinger equations. There are two forms, one in which time explicitly appears and so describes how the wave function of a particle will evolve in time. In general, the wave function behaves like a wave and so the equation is often referred to as time dependent Schrodinger wave equation. The other is the equation in which the time dependence has been removed and hence is known as the time independent Schrodinger wave equation and is found to describe amongst the other things what the energies are of the particles. There are no two separate independent equations. The time independent equations can be derived readily from time dependent equation. So, First one is time dependent Schrodinger equation. Here we consider a particle of mass m moving in a positive x direction. And then the wave function is given by psi of xt is equal to a e raised to i into kx minus omega t which is our first equation and where k is equal to 2 pi by lambda and omega is equal to 2 pi nu and we have fundamental equations e is equal to h nu and p is equal to h by lambda if we are multiplying and dividing to with 2 pi to this equation e is equal to h nu here we have h nu by 2 pi into 2 pi. So we know that h by 2 pi is equal to h cut and 2 pi nu is equal to omega. So this equation will become h cut omega that is e is equal to h cut omega. And here p is equal to h by lambda. Here also we are dividing and multiplying with 2 pi to the equation. So h by 2 pi will give h cut and 2 pi by lambda will give what k. So if we are substituting this in equation number 1, then equation number will 1 will give psi of xt is equal to a e raised to i by h cut into p x minus e t. This is equation number 2. Partial differentiation of psi with respect to x is dou psi by dou x is equal to a e raised to i h cut p x minus e t into i p by h cut. Neither dou psi by dou x wave function e nammal x ilana differentiate cheyyanathu so nammada function nu parayunnathu a e raised to i h by h cut into p x minus e t aanu so a function e raised to nalla function adu pole thanne verunu then adinathu x inde times inde derivative edukanam so ivide a e raised to i h by h cut p x minus e t adu pole vannu then ivide x verunathu px nalla term il aanu so agathottu multiply ya i by h cut into px nalla verunathu so i by h cut into 
P. So this equation will become what is this a e raised to i h cut into i by h cut into p x minus e t it is psi. So we will get i by h cut into p psi. So then do square psi by do x square do square psi by do x square will give i by h cut a e raised to i by h cut p x minus e t into then again so this will give i p by h cut again So again it will give i p by h cut. So the equation will become minus p square by h cut square into psi. So p square psi is equal to minus h cut square dou square psi by dou x square or we can write p psi is equal to minus i h cut dou psi by dou x or p cap which is momentum operator minus i h cut dou by dou x number there the particular and again differentiating with respect to time dou psi by dou t so e equation a t will be so e or a time will be made in the world time will be made so it is the world and the world is the a e raised to i by h cut into p x minus e t into then i by h cut into minus e t so and we do into minus i by h cut e so this will become minus i by h cut e psi or we can write e psi is equal to minus h cut by i dou psi by dou t which is equal to i h cut dou psi by dou t or we can write e psi is equal to i h cut dou psi by dou t And finally, we have total energy. Total energy is the same. Now, we have to do the time independent equation, time dependent equation, same procedures than the derivation. This is the same thing. So, here we have total energy. Total energy E can be written as kinetic energy plus potential energy. We have kinetic energy P square by 2m. In quantum mechanics, we have P square by 2m is the kinetic energy. Then potential energy V. If we are multiplying psi on both sides, then we will multiply psi on both sides. So, E psi is equal to P square by 2M psi plus V psi. Then, substituting the values of E and P square psi. E psi and P square psi. Then, it will give I H cut dou psi by dou T is equal to minus H cut square by 2M dou square psi by dou X square plus V psi. So, this is the one dimensional time dependent Schrodinger equation. In three dimension, we have I H cut <coughs> I H cut dou psi by dou t is equal to minus H cut square 2 m into dou square psi by dou x square is only for only if it is in one dimensional. Position coordinator x, y, z variable that is in 3D. X, y, z. So, dou square psi by dou x square plus dou square psi by dou y square plus dou square psi by dou z square. And this is represented by del square psi. That means i h cut dou psi by dou t is equal to minus h cut square by 2 m into del square plus v psi which is three dimensional time Schrodinger wave equation and if we are taking si from 
this side. So we can write this as i h cut dou psi by dou t is equal to minus h cut square by 2 m del square plus v into psi. This is known as Hamiltonian operator. H is equal to minus h cut square by 2 m del square plus v which is Hamiltonian operator. So this equation we can write i h cut dou psi by dou t is equal to h psi or we know that e, i h cut dou by dou t is e that is e psi is equal to h psi. For a free particle the potential energy v is equal to zero. So we can write the Schrodinger equation in three dimensional form as i h cut dou psi by dou t is equal to minus h cut square by 2 m del square. This is three dimensional Schrodinger equation for a free particle. Next we have we are going to study about time independent Schrodinger equation. Orthric and Ricardian or another number itrain particle other first case in number no kinetic energy total energy the case it can be same than Nana Namaka rendered derivation of another uh, e total energy at a case model Sradichamadi at the case like we have total energy E is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy and here kinetic energy P square by 2m plus v. So, rent side um, psi gundu namula multiply jay innu. e psi is equal to p square psi by 2m plus v psi. In evda sraddi kenda main at ullag aariyam. Substituting only for p square psi from equation number 3. p square psi ki maathra namula endi innu value substitute innu. Matted the namula endi idu rent side ilum e psi kiyum P square psi ki namula value substitute edu. Ibida verum bold P square psi ki matra namula value substitute edu. E psi ki value kodu ganilla. So E psi adu ula nitri ginu. E psi is equal to minus h cut square by 2 m del dou square psi by dou x square plus v psi. Or h cut square by 2 m dou square psi by dou x square plus e minus v into psi. This is the same thing. E minus v is equal So e minus v into psi is equal to 0. We will multiply 2m by h cut square. We will multiply the equation. Dou square psi by dou x square plus 2m by h cut square into e minus v equal to into psi is equal to 0. So, this is the Schrodinger time independent wave equation adinu nammal oru free particle inde case laanengil for a free particle v is equal to 0 then dou square psi by dou x square plus 2m by h cut square into e psi is equal to 0 or the three dimensional time independent equation can be written as del square psi del square psi plus 2m by h cut square into e minus v into psi is equal to 0. So, these are two wave equation, Schrodinger's wave equation, time dependent equation and time independent equation. Here, we can derive time independent equation from time dependent equation. Okay, thank you.